What's up, Justin Dory here. Uh, I'm 24 years old from Whistler, BC, and I'm a half pipe skier. Let's go. go, go. started skiing at age two. My dad was a ski coach for like 17 years and he got me into it at a super young age. And I actually hated skiing until I was about 10. I saw what the snowboarders were doing and I wanted to try snowboarding. I tried it out and realized that skiing was a hell of a lot easier. So I stuck with skiing and just trying to, you know, get better. And I've uh, been doing the same thing since. We had something Almost horrific happened, a tremendous crash by Justin Dory just a moment ago. Here's a look at it again, Mike. Yeah, coming in on the switch, double flat spin, Justin catching the coping with his ribs, going down hard. So after I blew my shoulder out at X Games, I was out for six weeks before I, I skied again. And then I kind of finished out the competition season and was unsure if I needed surgery or not. I, I did two more contests and it went okay, but I was still very hesitant. I decided not to get surgery and then it, it came out a couple more times. So it's just been kind of in the back of my mind. He's walking off right there, obviously shaking, and uh, we can only hope for the best. So we're here in Breckenridge for the first and final stop of Dew Tour this year. Um, it's the first contest of the season for us. A lot of us were a little sketched out if we could do what we wanted to do in the pipe and you know we only had a couple days to get used to it. By the third or fourth day in it, it was one of the best pipes I've ever ridden and um, we all got used to it and yeah, it, it went down. So this year in Breck, we didn't have any pre-qualified spots. We all started off in semis. There's 20 people and they took top 10. My plan was just to land a run and just get in there no matter what. I, I wasn't definitely not trying to, to win semis. Um, just wanted to do a safe run and make it through. Yeah, I ended up qualifying third and uh, third was more than enough for me. Justin Dory, 23 years of age, set to drop in out of Whistler, Canada. Usually between uh, semifinals and finals, there's a huge, everybody changes their run. But this year, I didn't think many people would. There's a, I, know, I knew Kevin and David would for sure. Um, I wasn't sure if I should change my run or just try to clean it up and go bigger. But uh, people did change their runs and I, I did change my run. And that's usually the way it goes. It's just, you know, under, when you get that adrenaline going, everybody kind of ups the ante. Whoa! Double court 1260 right there for Justin Dory. Never seen him do that trick in competition. Massive air to Finky as he comes in. Switch now. Switch down the pipe. 720. Such a deep court. Inverted all the way through. Remaining so smooth. Here's the double court 12 to the left. And Dory back to backs. Wow. Two different double court 1260s in his run. The only person to ever attempt that before is David Wise, who's also in this competition. For the first run, I was I was up in the air if I was going to go for it and do both doubles or not. I hadn't been doing the left dub 12, which was my last hit. I hadn't been doing that much this year. I came into that last hit after doing my run pretty well and was kind of on the fence. Should I go for it or not? And. Uh, I, of course, went for it and uh, ended up landing it, and it was, yeah, stoked. And Justin Dory has done it at 93.50 to take the lead. That's probably one of my higher scores I've ever got at Dew Tour. As a skier, you kind of get those certain tunes that will match a particular mood. If you want to hit this mood, maybe you put on like some heavy rock and roll to really inject some adrenaline into your next run. Or maybe you want to cool out a little bit, maybe some reggae. It's, it's a very, very precise art that's involved in the world of shredding. I was shaking after that first run. I, yeah, I was like, I, 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 might, I might win this. Like, this is crazy. And I try not to think too far ahead in between runs, but I was having a hard time. I put on some kind of mellower rap and uh, tried to calm myself down because I got I got some 
pretty intense music going in the headphones sometimes before I drop in. Justin Dory dropping in for run number two. He is your current leader with a 93.50. I just tried to calm myself down and decided not to change the run. I was thinking about doing a, a different trick in there as well, but just decided to clean it up, go bigger, and just do the same thing. He's gonna try to stick this same run. But like I said, Justin Dory, certainly the most unpredictable skier in the field. There's the right side, double court 1260. Huge air right there, maintaining his amplitude well. The old air to Figgy, tough trick and losing it a bit in the air right there. Oh no. And he's got an issue on his left side right now, whether it's his shoulder or what, but he is in a lot of pain. I dropped in for my second run and landed my right dub, landed the left nine, and actually had quite a bit more speed going into the air to fakie and uh, went pretty big and was bigger than I was expecting, so I flailed a bit, and in the air, I popped my shoulder out midair, which I've never done before. Landed, couldn't move my arm, skied to the bottom, wrapped my arm around my knee and had to reduce it myself. So it's pretty gruesome, but you wrap your arm around your knee and then you just kind of like push with your leg and it'll slide it back in. So I slid it back in and uh, yeah, it's definitely a little sore, but uh, it wasn't too bad. I'm kind of getting used to it. Riddle and David Wise, were left to drop after I was done, so they had the potential to knock me out of that number one spot. David Wise now dropping in. It'll be Wise and Riddle, the last minute to take Whoa. down Dory's 93.50. Whoa, big start right there from David Wise, going bigger on his first trick, which is certainly the most difficult in his run. The switch double rodeo 1080, double court 1260 into that alley you flat spin five. Big tricks. Will it be enough? Losing some amplitude down here toward the bottom. And swings around the right side 1080. It was a little nerve wracking, but at the same time I was I was stoked. You know, it was, it was a for sure thing that I was gonna be on the podium. David Wise now in fifth place, so he has secured a top five finish here in the final. Riddle's one of my best friends, so I was, you know, hoping to stomp his run. But at the same time, definitely wanted to hold on to that number one spot. The highest qualifier, 26-year-old Canadian. He needs a 93.51 or better, or the title will go to Justin Dory. It's an interesting duo because he's bouting now against one of his best friends in the world, Riddle and Justin Dory spend almost all their time together traveling with the Canadian team. So he knows what he's got to do. Will he be able to pull it around? There's the left side, oh. double 1260, and loses a shoe on the landing. Riddle and David both bobbled on the runs, and that was it. And I ended up winning. And that is it, Justin Dory, a 93.50, gets the job done. Let's not forget dislocating his shoulder on his second run and able to pop it back in. He is your champion. That was one of the best wins I've ever had in my life uh, for some reason. I think I've had a pretty hard year since I dislocated my shoulder at X Games. and It's been tough and uh, yeah, it was just blew my mind.